echoes of a forgotten corner of America. It's late summer in the mountains of Appalachia. But to the renegades who call this place home, a battle is about to begin. This is how we make a moonshot. <laughs> Got the shotgun? My name is Tim. I've been a moonshiner at least 40 of my 45 years. Tim lives in Virginia. The most important ingredient he needs to start making moonshine is corn, and it's ready for pickup. So the guy's gonna drop off a couple of bags of corn for us. We're gonna pick it up. Well, uh, my name is uh, Bubba Doe, and I've been a uh, moonshiner for about uh, 25 years now. Uh, my grandfather was a moonshiner. Uh, my pappy was a moonshiner uh, before him, and uh, I'll tell you what, there ain't no better moonshine than uh, Bubba Doe moonshine, that's for sure. That is for sure. Ain't that right, Cody? Well, I tell you what, that the uh, moonshine in there should not be a lick, man. Uh, moonshine is about America, and America is America. I could say the uh, moonshine is a symbol of freedom. It's a symbol of uh, us doing what we want to do, which is uh, drinking some good old fashioned uh, alcohol, you know what I'm saying? And uh, right here, my, my girl Cody, right here, she's a good old girl. Drink about mm, two pints of moonshine per day, and just look at her. Bet dog you ever heard. Bet dog you ever heard. Well, I gotta say. Have a Tim calls in his partner in crime, <laughs> a guy named Tickle. Look at that right there, the old, old ring of washer. <laughs> it's a working steel. It's a working steel. That's right. I'm Tickle, and uh, I work with Tim. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one, John. Yeah. yeah. When he calls me, I'm going to be there, no matter what the situation. That's just how this line of work Work. Uh, lawmen, they do a lot of crazy things to try to catch up moonshiners, man. They do a lot of crazy things. Like, uh, tell you what, one time, my grandpappy, through this day, swore to God, he was uh, doing the moonshine machine right here, and the uh, uh, cop came up to him, dressed, dressed like a cow. Dressed like a cow, I swore to God. And uh, my great great my great grandpappy, better find out how to fulfill it by doing it. It was a good man, good moonshine. He he could smell a cop from my oh I said twenty mile away. He knew that cop was coming, even though he dressed like a cow. Swerve, he got he drowned that cop in moonshine. Drowned the cop moonshine. Uh, it would be beautiful irony. Beautiful irony right there. Swerve to go. Ain't no doubt about that. If not, you'll make one run and both of you're in jail. Is it like Granny's recipe? <laughs> okay. Yeah. An old moonshiner's secret for bug repellent, Listerine. We ain't gonna drink it, so. Hope not. At least it cut up some of that bad breath anyway. That's right. Oh. Cut some of it up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We may come up with something to sell it to somebody. Well, I've been trying to sell something to somebody for years, and, you know, maybe we'll come out with something that's legal to sell. Most <laughs> legal ain't nowhere near as much fun. Yeah, it's good money. It's the type of liquor everybody wants and everybody loves because I guess it's the forbidden liquor. You're not supposed to have it. Uh, moonshine ain't come a long way since I was a little boy. It was um, even longer way since I was born, you know? Uh, my, my pappy, my pappy, uh, Suey Doo. That was his name, Suey Doo. A lot of kids made fun of him, but guess what? He was the best moonshine in the country, just like me. And uh, Suey Doo, he moonshine with nothing but a paper clip two packs of bubble gum, and a roll of duct tape. He made back moonshine in the world there, right there. And uh, I'll tell you what, we come a long way since then. I'll, I'll show you the moonshine machine right now. We'll take a look at the moonshine machine right here. All right, well, this is the most important part of the moonshine machine right here. Now, it ain't actually connected to the moonshine machine, but that is all right, you see? This right here, moonshine in it, conductor, right here. Connect, can conduct moonshine. Now, what it do, it takes the moon from the sky, the shine from the moon from the sky. And it, it compacts it in this little here disc. See how it's all shiny? That's moonshine right there. That's literal moonshine right there on that disc. And then you take that moonshine from that disc and you melt it in a fire. We ain't got fire in here because it's indoors, silly. <laughs> Don't have fire indoors. Now, uh, over here, this right here, it is the uh, moonshine and transverser rod. Now, what that do is it takes the melted moonshine from the disc and it puts it in through into the still, which is what we got right here. And as you can see, I got me a little batch brewing up just for y'all, because I wasn't going to be doing a full batch for y'all, because, <laughs> you know. So then, uh, then uh, this here, this here kind of device, this whole catching device down here was built by my great-great-grandpappy, Bobby Duke. Now, 
All right, as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt down here in the in the pool catcher built by my great grandpappy, but uh, it's all right. Yep, still good. So anyhow, uh, you can see we got a little batch brewing up here, and uh, looks pretty good. Take just like the shining moon right there, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, you want to get the shotgun? You gotta have a shotgun, right? Moonshine is a family thing, and my dad and Popcorn Sutton, they've been making moonshine all their life, and uh, they recently both passed away, and uh, I'd like to go ahead and pass it on to my son before I pass away. Popcorn Sutton, the most notorious moonshiner that has ever lived. His liquor was so valued that people often used it as currency. Well, I started smoking when I was six years old. Started drinking when I was six years old. They say that smoking and drinking will kill you. I don't believe that. Boy, well, there ain't nothing to making this damned old liquor, is there? Tim follows Popcorn's artisanal method of making moonshine. Use the best water and use the highest quality ingredients available. Maybe somebody will appreciate someday what, what I'm doing, you know. Actually, believe it or not, Cody here ain't just a dog. She is a critical part of the moonshine process. Now, what she does is she drinks all the moonshine in the still when I make me a batch. And, you know, we'll have when we drink, pee it out, of course. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll just put it back through the still. Kind of like on Waterworld with Kevin Costner recycles his own piss to drink it. Well, kind of that's what we do. We do that, and it, it gives Moonshine that distinctive doggy piss flavor. What do you think that part of it? is a special art. It ain't made in China. Damn right. But you do need to know how to do it. <laughs> it was a fact that Moonshine should be illegal. It should not be illegal, man. I'll tell you what, you can lock me up, throw away the key, I find a way to make Moonshine in a jail toilet. I swear to God, I don't even care. You couldn't wind up killing yourself. The sacred right never seen before on television. When I show up with Moonshine, I've got a reputation of having some of the best. Uh, and a word of advice to any aspiring young Moonshiners out there is is uh just you know so anyhow y'all have a wonderful evening and i'm glad you got this uh this nice little insight into the life of a man who can craft the shine of the moon for the best got the damn drink you ever did drink back the news to this hurricane or something's coming in we gotta pick up everything we can and get out of here the law makes its move. As soon as you finish, that's when they're waiting for you. ABC agents and everything else. Got a nip joint. There's no rules, regulations. It's just a free for all. You get ready to go to jail. You just lay right there and be quiet. The season has just started. Who knows how it's going to end? I'm getting a little bit nervous. That's for sure. I got an emergency. I'm going to have to go. Play me off, Johnny. <laughs>